and today we are learning different leadership styles because the world has changed, but the leadership styles have not changed. We find like parents and uh, teachers, they're still with the carrot and stick kind of uh, uh, motivation. Your parents, if you do this, I give you this. If uh, uh, you clean the floor, I'll do this. So that is about motivation. And once, what if you don't motivate? The leader, as a leader, you should go beyond motivation and try to identify the character and the, com the capabilities of that child. You try to see who is that child and what that child is doing. As a business uh, 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 woman, you go beyond the profits. It's not about the profits. And that is why we, uh, 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 in all organizations, when you see people putting the mission, the values, and the, uh, and the vision, they, you try to question them, what is the value in, an inspirational leader must bring, must add value to the people they are follow to, 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 to the followers. And that's what we'll be learning today. Being an inspirational leader is for you to develop other leaders, to empower them, to assist them to grow, to develop their potentials. All because the world has changed. The world has not only changed, the nature of work has, has, has changed because now we have so much as uh, 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 around concerning information and our work, what we do now, there's so much for us to learn and also the workforce has changed as it has become very diverse. That's why we'll be treating inclusive leadership. The workplace has also changed, has become so dispersed that people can work from anywhere. Anything can be received from anywhere. That is why we'll be talking about virtual leadership. So in, there are four leadership styles as compared to the old, the traditional leadership styles, we had a traditional leadership style, autocratic leadership style. We we'll try to see the differences between, because of the technology, because, of, because everything has changed, they need to be relevant, they need to be flexible, they need to, ad, uh, to learn how to adapt to this, uh, the, the new changes, and more so, they need to be inspirational leaders, those who are ready to identify their, their potentials and grow themselves and have a growth mindset. Those are the kind of things that they will learn. They will live from here with several skills, communication skills, management skills, and so on. So that is uh, why we are here today and we want the young girls, the young girls must learn. It is about continuous learning so as to be relevant. It's a very important mission that the ministry carries out. It's very important and pertinent. We can't talk of development today without developing leadership. And we can't develop leadership today forgetting these young girls that are coming. Uh, so the Minister, the Minister of Women's Empowerment and the family understands very well that once you inculcate knowledge in any person, especially the girls, as they are still young, they will grow up with it and will make good use of it. And as they are growing, they will be able to adapt it to which situations as they will be changing. So the minister, the ministry itself, is so so concerned about this conference or this summit today because we understand that the number of girls that are here today will not live here the same, and that they will begin leadership even in their homes and they would go to what to their different schools and from their schools why not in their societies and as they grow up their their skills will be improving we are in a world of uh, in a world in which technology is fast changing so if their the technology their skills are not developed in terms of leadership they will go wayward we receive uh, messages through social media today that are not supposed to messages that hate each other and that is what the ministry of women's empowerment and the family preaches against for us to live in peace for us to have peace that exists in and cohesion in our country we need qualities of a leadership qualities that can rather promote instead of redressing it so the training of our young girls today to, in, to receive these skills is very important Again, let me say that 
with the Minister of Women's Empowerment and the family, leadership is an important issue. We, the, women, the ministry train even women in political leadership and other aspects of leadership. And so we can't even expect peace in our country if we are leading wrongly and if the girls that we are bringing up today will lead wrongly. I am so impressed seeing today the number of men that are present here because the ministry also promote what we call he for she. For the, these girls to, in, to, to, to receive this knowledge, we need the men and the boys to stand by them, to engage, to stand by them, to support them, to know that they can lead and to, so that they will be able to improve in their leadership qualities. So I think, uh, Madame Bella, I want to say that you are on the right footing and what you are doing is so great and ready to advance Cameroon and ready to bring us to a point where before 2035 we should have had a certain level of development and before 2063 uh, uh, we should have reached another level so that even in evaluating our agenda 2063 we'll be able, African Union agenda 2063 will be able to say that we are moving forward. We can move forward leaving those that are the leaders of tomorrow. I call upon our young girls this morning on behalf of the Minister of Women's Empowerment and the Family to say, as you get back to your different institutions, to your different schools, those coming from Polytechnic, start from today. Start after this training to be exercising your leadership qualities. When you see a gap, something that needs to be done, don't expect, expect somebody to come and tell you and do it rightly. What is not right, tell the others or your classmates or your fellow uh, friends that this is not promoting our country and neither is it promoting the woman. Thank you. Thank you. Two things are very important. I am also a woman. There is a véritable need to and to align on the digital. Et encore aujourd'hui sur euh, l'intelligence artificielle. Euh, je pense que c'est essentiel. Et ce genre de sommet appelle les femmes, les jeunes filles, de s'intéresser à l'outil et de s'ouvrir. Euh, étant une femme ou une jeune femme, euh, il est important de, de s'arrêter parce que l'offre digital is enormous. The offer digital permet de s'auto-employer, permet de devenir chef d'entreprise, permet aussi de s'ouvrir et d'apprendre. Donc c'est une offre pluri et multidimensionnelle. Donc voilà pourquoi j'adhère à ce que Madame Yenou est en train de faire et j'apporte mon modeste contribution. Membre du club des visionnaires. Visionnaire parce que le Women's Leadership Arena a été créé il y a déjà trois ans et je faisais partie des gens qui venaient donner des, je peux dire des cours aux participants, voilà, des cours de coaching aux participants dans, sur le côté digital et communication. And for the two years that I've attended the Women's Leadership Summit Arena, I have learned a lot because last year we were talking about becoming an influential leader. And attending the summit, I've discovered my hidden talents. And last year I discovered that I am in the domain of being a motivational leader. So I use the skills that I've acquired from here to empower and uplift the women and also people around me. And then this year, with the team being navigating leadership complexities in a digital world, it was so touching to me because the world is fast growing in technological development. And so it is very necessary, and what I will learn from here will provide me with tools and insights so that I will be able to 
to motivate others and inspire and inspire others. And so the opportunity to be inducted as a visionary leader is a wonderful experience, an empowerment experience for me by the, the Women's Leadership Arena Summit. And so this one shows that as I embrace this leadership position, I am going to commit myself to continuous learning. I will foster creativity and I will make sure that I inspire those that are around me. par ailleurs présidente de l'association des filles de l'école. Euh, C'est vraiment ma première fois d'avoir assisté au Women Leadership Arena. C'était une invitation de la madame la fondatrice, madame Bertha. Nous avons vraiment beaucoup appris depuis ce matin. Ce qui m'a le plus touché, c'est de savoir qui nous sommes pour définir, qui nous deviendra. Parce que dans le leadership, ce que nous devons savoir, c'est que le leadership, c'est vraiment quelque chose de, de propre, quelque chose que nous devons avoir en nous. Un leader, c'est une personne, cette personne doit être humain. Et savoir qui il est, avoir de la confiance, pouvoir projeter sa confiance aux autres et projeter une certaine vision aux autres. Je suis exceptionnée parce que je suis par ailleurs présidente de l'association des filles de l'école nationale supérieure polytechnique de Yaoundé. Nous avons appris sur le tas, nous avons une façon de gérer et nous aimerons vraiment apprendre de celles qui sont là, qui ont un meilleur leadership que nous.